The Nowhere Box by Sam Zupardi. The Nowhere Box by Sam Zupardi. This is a Candlewick Press publication. George's little brother was being a real nuisance. So was his even littler brother. Look, George is trying to play and his brother seemed to be in the way. Everywhere George went, the little boys followed. George had had enough. Where are you going? Nowhere! And you can't follow me! The box from the washing machine was just what George needed. You can see he's drawing on the box, cutting some openings, inserting some pieces of metal. wonder what he's going to make. In no time, he was ready for his escape. George pressed a button. And he was nowhere. Nowhere was vast and empty. But not for long. Wow, look what George is making with his imagination. Soon, nowhere was amazing. Nowhere was magnificent. Nowhere was stupendous. Meanwhile, George's little brothers were wondering where he'd gone. He wasn't in the bedroom. He wasn't in the bathroom. He wasn't in the living room. Where was George? He was nowhere. But in nowhere, there were no enemy pirates in sight. And there were no dragons to be found. In fact, there was not one at all. Hmm, George is looking a little bit lonely here. And that's when George realized he knew just where to find great enemy pirates and pretty good dragons, too. With that thought, he hopped back in his ship and set a course for home. George! Where have you been? Oh, nowhere. Look how happy they are to see one another. And now they can play and imagine pirates together. It's amazing where you can go when you use your imagination. I wonder where you might travel and what you might see if you use your imagination to go nowhere. <laughs>